Here we are at Wild Care. Wild Care is an emergency wildlife hospital that serves Cape Cod and the islands. And the hatchling turtle that you're watching today has been here for over a year. She is just one of thousands of wild creatures whom we deal with on a yearly basis. We've been watching a, a hatchling eastern box turtle their species of special concern in Massachusetts. And the turtle was rescued um, last fall after having fallen into a, a window well as a tiny hatchling, only seven or eight grams. And we have a program at Wild Care where we jumpstart tiny species and try and get them up to a size in which they have a better chance in the wild. The first thing especially with hatchlings, is that they have an intact, innate fear of things larger than themselves. So for instance, in captivity, we have to make sure that they don't become habituated to people walking up to them. She's been here for a year and has mushroomed in size from seven grams to over um, 78 grams and gone from the size of about a, a nickel or a quarter to that of a hamburger. Every day she's been soaked and had salad and has had a place to hide. And so today is her debut into the wild. When you're handling any wild animal, whether it be a rescue setting or a rehabilitation setting or that final moment of release, the mindset should be, what can I do in the situation to minimize the stress for the animal? So if you're rescuing them, you have your box and your blanket ready ahead of time. If you're rehabilitating them, you make sure you do all of the handling at once. You weigh them, have their, their clean habitat already set up, so you only have to handle them for a few seconds. If you're releasing them, you've already done your homework. You've scouted out the spot. You, you know exactly where you're going to put the animal, and at that very last instant, you quietly set them into, this, into their habitat that hopefully they'll keep for the rest of their lives. Release day, I think most people would imagine, is really pure joy, but when you've worked with an animal for over a year, your, your feelings are extremely mixed. It's not as if there's endless wilderness that we're turning this animal into. She'll have to deal with roads and lawnmowers and construction and people who would like to keep her as a pet. And so there's a lot of apprehension. And so the very best we can do is trying to find, um, try to find a spot with lots of vegetation and cover and far from, from any human habitation so that she has a chance of hiding and, and just burrowing in and being safe. The life expectancy of box turtles can be several decades, and there's a fair number of cases of them living to be over a hundred years. However, that, that's based on them reaching a predator-proof size first. They have to get to get to be big enough so that they're not going to fall easy prey to, to birds and small mammals. And this one is actually fairly large. It's even though this animal is, is technically only one year old, it's about the size of a five or six year old box turtle if it had, that was living in the wild. Her worst concern, um, not involving humans, would be something like a raccoon who has, you know, who's very, very dexterous and can pull her shell apart. Um, but other than that, she can dig in, you know, under peat and, and rotting vegetation. The biggest issues confronting their survival on Cape Cod are all related to human population growth, human development, and human alterations of the landscape. Although the mosaic of open and wooded habitats that humans have created on the Cape isn't in and of itself a problem for box turtles. They're fine with that. However, part of what's, what's created that type of habitat has been human development and along with development comes roads and box turtles and roads notoriously do not get, get along very well.
a small turtle like this is vulnerable to predation and generally they remain undercover most of the time so when you're letting an animal go for the first time like this in a long time it's best to put them someplace where they're going to be hidden undercover and that way they'll be safer from predators and they can leave when they're ready to leave so now he's safe under there because also the temperatures are going to start dropping later today so now he's got some cover there are so many ways people can help our patients at Wild Care. Some folks volunteer, some people help by stopping for an animal like the turtle hatchling, and then of course we always need financial help to care for animals like this.